Hey, welcome back to Bedsquid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I wanna show you how to upload work to Google Classroom. Feel free to share this with your students because this is a student tutorial. I really want to show you how uh, students can upload their work, assignments or homeworks or whatever the task is, uh, to Google Classroom if you you know set work on Google Classroom. The issue that we're finding is that students are uploading multiple files, maybe seven, eight files at a time, okay, and you've got different, different files that you need to go through. What we want is one PDF, a single PDF file, okay, so that we can scroll through um, you know, scrub through that PDF file and then make any annotations and notes and feedback on that single file. Okay, it keeps everything organized. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So here we go, we've got Microsoft Lens. Okay, it's a Microsoft official app um, and it's free to download. So let's go ahead and show you how to use it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my iPad from the keyboard here. I've got a book uh, and I wanna take some pictures from the book. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the app. Okay, launch the app. And what we want to do is you'll be presented with this screen here and you want to start taking your pictures. So if you look carefully enough, you've got, we've got whiteboard, we've got document, we've got business card and we've got photo. Uh, so we want to choose something that's appropriate here. I think documents would be appropriate because we're going to be taking a picture of a document here anyway. So as you hover over your document, it creates this, let me show you here, look. As you ho hover over the document, it creates a grid that you can select, okay? And make sure that you are doing it in um, portrait mode, because if you don't do it in portrait mode, your pictures are gonna end up uh, getting uploaded in landscape mode on a portrait page, because most uploads are gonna be, you know, A4 portrait, yeah? So go ahead and start taking your pictures. I'll take a snap. Even if it hasn't picked up the right part of the document, there's an option here that says, uh, let me adjust the border. So I can go ahead and I can adjust the border here. And then I could go ahead and press confirm. So at the bottom, there's confirm. I can go ahead and press confirm. Now that's one picture. I wanna add more pictures to this. So what do I do? I can go down to here. So there it says add. I can go ahead and I can add more pictures. So let me go press it on add. And then I'll add another picture. So maybe turn the page and let's get some of this work here. Okay, again, I can adjust this as I want. I think that's great. And I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that, okay? So I'll confirm that there. Now you can add additional pictures from your photo reel. So if I wanted to add some of working out that I've screenshot, I can do that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I've got four pictures here uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to whatever, wherever I need to upload it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, press on the button. And this is one of the pictures that I added. Now the brilliant thing here is I can see that I've got a few pictures here. Okay, I've got four pictures here. And so let's say this picture in particular is not um, as clear. I can go down to filters and I can change the filter. So maybe, you know, I want to do it using the document filter and that is way more clearer for me. So I like that one. Uh, for this particular picture, I can choose a different filter. So, you know, I could choose, um, do it black and white or I can do whiteboard or I can lighten it, whatever. I think we we'll stick with whiteboard there. So can you see, it's got filters as well. You can choose your filters at the bottom, which makes each page more legible. Okay, so the issue with this page here is I forgot to write the, the question number. So I could go ahead and uh, press on text and just call this, I don't know, question, um, question five, okay? And then I can just move that to the corner. So now the teacher knows that this is question five. I'm dealing with question five. Uh, in the next page, Let's say, for example, I want to write some instructions here. I forgot to write something down. I've taken the picture already. I need to upload it. I could go ahead and uh, do more text or actually I could ink. Okay, so I could write something here like um, review, okay, or, or review notes. Or I could, you know, I could even use Apple Pencil to be honest, take this out and I could say appendix one or something, okay? Appendix one appendix A or whatever, I can add notes to this. So if I press confirm now, this is ready and I wanna go ahead and share it. So I can go and press done. Where do I wanna share it? Now for the most part, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to go to more apps and then I'm gonna save it to file. Okay, and that's gonna save it wherever you wanna save it. I wanna save it to, let's say the downloads. I'm gonna save it to the downloads and I'm gonna go ahead, press save. Okay, it's, you'll get similar options on your iPhone or the Android phone. Okay, so that is saved to my files app. What do I wanna do with this now? So, if I go to the files app, okay, you go down to my downloads, where's my downloads, downloads. 
Um, it was, I think it was called image four or something. Here we go, image four. You can see, look, I've got four pages, including my annotations. I had question five up there. And then this can get shared out with the teacher as one single um, f file, yeah? The teacher doesn't need to go through multiple uploads. So that's what I'm talking about. So with that file, students can upload it to Google Classroom, wherever they need to upload it, they can email it to you and so on and so forth. I hope that helps out. Um, consider subscribing for more EdTech videos. Share this, definitely share it with your students so that they know how to upload their work. Uh, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.